Good morning. Oh, we're doing solar physics. Oh, we'll be observing the sun all day. Uh, today I'll get to see the whole procedures, everything from start to finish, from when we open the uh, telescope and until there might be bad conditions and we'll have to close it or yeah, everything. Yeah, you know, I thought it would be cool just to show you what does an astrophysicist do when they're up on a mountain just observing. Uh, open the telescope and we have breakfast at the telescope and now we start observing. That's our observatory, and those are the boys working with them. This is Carlos. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Starting the day with a light breakfast of uh, frozen raspberries, coconut yogurt, and some mandarin juice. If you ever have the opportunity to do something like this that I have been given, you're extremely fortunate because it's just a really a massive privilege to do this while I'm just doing my masters and I think not only does it teach you how they work and what the work actually like entitles but it also will show you if this is something that is for you uh, I'm just gonna try get into the workflow go down to the guys and see what they're up to and try to copy and learn, take notes. Oh, do the 
So, Carlos, do you want to tell us about what we were seeing downstairs now? Because we started observing now. Uh, yeah, so we are appointed at the Peace Center that is usually uh, governed by the Grammarian pattern and we also have concentration of magnetic field. And we are trying to understand how the magnetic field evolves and how it's connected between lower layers and upper layers of the atmosphere. Good seeing conditions of what we're observing on the first day. That's great. So now we're doing calibrations of the chromis which is why it goes around, goes around, goes around. Wow, I cannot believe this beauty that is here. So, we've been sitting in the observatory observation room uh, for uh, a few more hours now. I thought I'd just go outside and check check out the weather, check out clouds and the sun and the trail. Now we're about to drive down to the other side of the mountain to the nearest gas station and try to fill the car with fuel before it runs out. We're uh, about like um, less than a quarter with fuel now and pretty high up in the mountain so fingers crossed. I know you moved on to someone new. Whole life is beautiful. You were the light for me to find my truth. I just wanna say thank you. Guess we made it back, and now it's time for snack. And going down to see how the observations are going. Let's see. How's it going down here? We recorded some more data, but then we need some calibration. Oh, okay. Okay, so we shut down the telescope and um, we had dinner here at the residential where we're staying and nothing special and now I'm just out and about and I want to go for a little run at sunset the sky is already looking amazing yep so didn't want to miss this also the moon in the other direction where the telescope is you can see it looking great as always Okay guys, I think this will be the end of today's vlog and for you to see how an astrophysicist schedules their day when they're on top of a mountain doing observations. Uh, yeah, I'm really grateful to be here. This is such an incredible experience that I, yeah, 
thank you, thank you, thank you to my supervisors and University of Oslo, everything, everyone. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna make my way back eventually and have a shower and watch some sort of TV show before I head off to sleep. So if you have any questions about studying astrophysics or doing this type of research or whatever really any questions to me then uh, put them in the comments below I love you guys hope you have a wonderful day see ya